Good morning and good afternoon. Happy Saturday and welcome back to DC TV, where I am your host, Drew Collins, bringing you all sports-related news in the greater Cincinnati area. If you're new around here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, leave a like, and comment below future video ideas. If you didn't see the title in today's video already, we'll be talking about Von Bell and what he brings to the table for the Cincinnati Bengals in 2020. Now let's get into today's video. So if you see the setup, it's obviously not the same as usual. I am still in Florida, not in the tri-state. So about a week, week and a half, I will be back in the tri-state with my normal setup. So stay tuned till then. Von Bell is a 5'11", 205-pound former Ohio State Buckeye. So he's an Ohio native. I believe he was born and raised in Tennessee, but went to Ohio State for football as a five-star in high school. Um, as a uh, the 25-year-old was once a few years ago drafted to the New Orleans Saints with the 65th, 61st pick in the 2016 NFL Draft to be a young and upcoming safety in the league. Now I'll start off the video with a fun fact. Von Bell is a true winner. Ever since high school, he won a state championship in the double or in the AAA a state championship in Tennessee, and then he went to Ohio State, where he then beat Oregon in the national title game. So he is a winner, and he's won every he's won at every single level besides the NFL, but that could change here in Cincinnati. So let's go ahead and get into some of his stats in the past couple of years. In Bell's rookie season, he had 87 combined tackles, 61 solo tackles, four pass deflections, two forced fumbles, and a sack in 16 games, but only 14 starts. You will see that there is a reoccurring notice in these in his in Von Bell's time with the Nolan Saints, and that was playing time. Von Bell, really, besides his last year, was never been a starter. He started most games, but he's never been an all 16 game starter in New Orleans. And that's just because of their competitive uh, secondary play in New Orleans the past couple of years. Um, so that, obviously, those are great stats, and he didn't even start all 16 games. Then we go to his sophomore season, where he had 83 combined tackles, 62 solo, four and a half sacks, two pass deflections, and 10 starts in 16 games. Now, obviously, once again, not 16 starts, played 10, you know, started 10 games. And though in 10 games, four and a half sacks for a safety is ridiculous. And in the future, in the video, when I start talking about reasons why I really like Von Bell when he brings to the table, that is one of them. The guy's a homing missile and gets after the quarterback when needed to be. Now, according to Pro Football Focus, they gave him an overall 68.7, which ranked him 65th among the entire NFL safeties in 2017. Now, in 2017, the Saints did make the playoffs. They ended up winning the first game where I believe he had like nine tackles. He had a pretty good game. And then they would go on to play the Minnesota Vikings, where that game obviously is known as the Minneapolis Miracle, where they got a heartbreaking loss. Probably should have won the game, but lost anyway. And uh, he played good in that game, too. And I believe the game before that was against the Carolina Panthers, where he went up against Cam Newton, who at the time was doing really well. And I'm pretty sure he got a sack in that game and maybe if maybe a forced fumble too. So the guy has playoff experience and a playoff win under his belt as well. So that's another thing that's going to help bring that to Cincinnati, you know, winning philosophy. In 2018, Bell finished with a career high 89 career tackles with 63 being solo, three pass deflections, one sack, one forced fumble, um, and eight starts of 16 games. So he, he keeps going up, up, up. 2018 hits only only I believe eight starts out of the 16 games another season where he wasn't guaranteed a starting spot on the team and I'm going to be honest that's probably something in Cincinnati that's might not happen yes we have Jesse Bates and him but they'll be paired up and yeah you have Sean Williams but I don't really really see him taking the starting spot from Bell I don't really see anyone taking the spot for Bell because why would the Bengals pay him all that money to be a bench player you know what I mean so I feel like in Cincinnati that's a huge thing where he's really can be his team and he can take over because Cincinnati needs that guy to come in a veteran presence that has some you know playoff experience and a lot of snaps under his belt to come in and be that guy and that's exactly what Vaughn Bell can be for many years along with Vaughn obviously struggling to get playing time um, he's played nickelback He's paid in coverages with five defensive backs where he's played almost every single five of them. Um, but his overall grade was a 74.3 in the pro, ball, pro football focus, which was 24th in all safeties in the league, which is really well. Talking about free safety and strong safety, 24th for a guy that only started eight games is incredible. My thing here is you really can't blame Von Bell. You know, the playing time was ransom. He's working his butt off. He's becoming a better player each and every year, causing turnovers, having good coverage, and really just going after the ball. But just, you know, really couldn't hold on to that starting spot in New Orleans. 
and that's something he's going to be able to do in Cincinnati. But then we move on to 2018, where Well played 13 games and started all 13 games. So yes, he didn't play all 16 games, but every single game he played, he, he secured that starting spot. And within those 13 games, he had 86 total tackles, 63 solo or 83 total tackles, 63 solo tackles, one and a half sacks, two forced fumbles, five fumble recoveries, one touchdown, one interception, and five pass deflections in 13 games. I'm telling you, this Von Bell kid, the 25-year-old kid, look, he's going to do some amazing things in Cincinnati. And let's be honest, just a few years ago when the Bengals were making playoffs, not winning any of them, but making, you know, four or five years in a row making playoff games, let's be honest, that defense was amazing. They had grit. You know, you think, uh, when you think about Bengals defense, you think Vontez Burfick, hard-hitting, very intensive player who, you know, before everything happened, you think of a really grit and, you know, gritty defense that got the job done. And this is exactly what Von Bell can bring back to the Bengals. Because, you know, honestly, when I think Bengals defense last year and the past few years, you don't really think like the old defense was. You know, they're not as reliable. They're not as exciting. We don't have game-changing players like we used to have because they've been in this rebuild, revamping this entire defense. You know, I have Marvin Lewis left, and now we have more offensive coach. We, the defense is going to go through a rebuilding phrase, and Von Bell is going to be here for that. And obviously, he's going to come in and make day one changes where if not in 2019, 2020, 21, he could even have a captain badge. I mean, you got to think it's going to obviously be between him and Jesse Bates for the secondary, in my opinion, just because, yes, William Jackson, and we have a few other guys that are really good as well, but those guys are just standout players who are going to be able to tell guys to go there, go there, do this, do that. And, you know, one thing he has over Jesse Bates is more playing time and experience because as Jesse Bates is a little bit younger, I believe two years younger, um, Von Bells has seen a little bit more. And Von Bell hasn't always been given the spot. Von Bell has had to battle and, you know, had to fight for just playing time in general. So obviously he didn't get traded. He decided to sign with Cincinnati and come back, you know, not to Columbus, but to Cincinnati, a neighboring city. And he, you know, obviously did it for many reasons. And, you know, so I'm going to get into why I believe he can really help is because he's going to be very explosive for the Bengals. The Bengals, like I said earlier, need that player that, you know, go out. And that's a player you're excited for. You know he's going to make plays. He's going to mess up a few times. But most, majority of the time, he's going to get it done. And this is a guy where offenses, when they have to scout the Bengals' defense, they're going to be looking at the Von Bells because they know these guys are a wild card. They can go do a safety blitz or they're going to drop back in coverage. They might drop back in coverage 9 out of 10 times. But that 1 out of 10 times, he's coming on the edge to come sack you like he did Cam Newton in the playoffs. And that's why he has four and a half, you know, two, three sacks. And, you know, that's not a lot. But for a safety that doesn't even play all 16 games, that's a good amount of, you know, of, you know, sacks just for a safety. So I really think he, you know, not just, you know, it makes it harder for offensive teams, but he benefits the Bengals playbook and the defense because he has experience at nickelbacks and all these different spots, line, a little bit of linebacker safety, where he can do so, a variety of different formations and different ideas where the Bengals defense can really, you know, play a 4-3, play a 3-4, maybe a 5-2, you know, safety blitz and allow the other guys to go back. You know, Von Bell, you know, with the addition of him, that makes it very possible. And then you add, the, you know, the mix of all the new rookie uh, linebackers that we've drafted in the offseason. He's just going to benefit them with you know when they mess up on a play or you know just moving around everything it's really going to be beneficial for the Cincinnati Bengals in 2020. Watching some of Vaughn's footage in New Orleans is very exciting because when I watch him play it's like the whole field is a magnetic field and in his head is a magnet and the football is another magnet and it's like he knows where that football is going. He knows to blitz. He knows to stay up tight in coverage. He knows to fall back in coverage. Like if you watch him he, he makes really good play recognition plays, and when he knows to go after the guy, he is a homing missile of a player. That's why he gets so many forced fumbles and fumbles recovery, because he's always around the ball. If it's, you know, guarding a wide receiver or guarding a line or guarding a running back or, you know, going after the quarterback and sitting in, you know, a lock formation, he is there and ready for the ball at all times. And that's somebody the Bengals need. The Bengals were very unaware of the football last year. And that's why a lot of tackles were broken. That's why a lot of tackles weren't made because so many guys are so unaware when they would go for a tackle. It was a whiff. And then there's Jesse Bates on a lone island 
collecting all these tackles. And another thing is, he's a good tackler. Von Bell is a not the best tackler, but he can hit hard. He can force the ball out, and he's just a solid tackler, which is what the Bengals need because obviously Jericho or Patrick's not on the team anymore. No shade to him. But, you know, if wrapping up there does become a problem, he can sit back there and grab the tackle if needed. So in 2019, when the defense felt, you know, very a lack of energy, not very exciting on the defense, you know, kind of just a mosey around, you know, try to hold him to three kind of thing. That's kind of what it felt like to me majority of the year. Now you have a guy that comes in, brings a lot of energy to the table, is fun to watch, and is going to create one of the best safety duos in the entire NFL for the next five to ten years. Him and Jesse Bates are going to be two top 15 safeties in 2019. Just watch. These guys are going to make plays. They're going to do big things. And it's not just these guys. You got Mackenzie Alexander, Trey Waynes to help the secondary as well. And then you throw DJ Reader on the line. There's a lot to be excited for on this defense of all, you know, the defensive side for the Bengals in 2020. I know everyone wants to watch the offense and Joe Burrow and T. Higgins and AJ. Yes, that's going to be very fun to watch, but don't sleep on this defense. It's going to be a fun one to watch in 2020. Now, let me know what you think of Von Bell in the comment section below. I am so excited. I think he's going to have a great year. I think either him or Jesse Bates are going to make the Pro Bowl, if not both. I think one of them at least gets it in 2020, just because there's too many plays to be made on this defense, and one of them is going to go after and get it. And they're both that type of player to be fun to watch. So I already know we're going to have one of the best safety and we're going to be very spoiled for the next three to four, maybe even five plus years. But let me know your comment section. Let me know in the comment section below, you know, what you think he's going to do. Also, this is about all I have today, but we are getting close to when I'm coming back to the Tri-State. So don't worry. Everything's going to be back to normal. Thank you guys for 1K once again as we have just hit it. And we don't forget, keep hitting that subscribe button because we're going up. Hit that subscribe button. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay you. Stay true.